Look in your eyes while I say this I think your love might be dangerous I might fall in, it's contagious I love your sign and body language, ooh Think I can manage what you're saying Oh, a little Spanish is some pain Oh, you give me everything I hope for I swear me and my ex is over When it's nights like this I really wanna be right there I really Family wanna be Had a flashback. I'll be messaging your phone, call you every night to make sure. Do you like it too? Mario likes it too. <laughs> Today is a pretty exciting day because my homie, you guys haven't met him on the vlog or anything, but I've been homies with him like ever since I moved here to Washington. His name is Connor and he is now a certified pilot and pilot instructor. He's been training years and years and years now for like flying planes and stuff. And I think his main goal is to become a commercial pilot, but he just recently passed like all of his tests. So now he is like officially Pilot Richardson. That's even like his Instagram name. And so we're gonna link up um, over some dinner. And he asked me instead of driving to dinner and meeting at the restaurant if we wanted to fly to dinner, which I thought was pretty cool because he has his own plane and everything. So I'll be sure to introduce you guys um, when I meet up with him later tonight. And then I'll obviously show you guys like, when we're up in the air and stuff. I personally have never gotten like a full blown personal experience like that, obviously besides an airplane. So it should be interesting. Yeah, it's pretty early in the morning. Just gonna do some light work on the computer and stuff and just kind of wait until later on tonight. But of course, I want to show you guys my outfit. Just keeping it super simple today. We just got some dirty Air Jordan 1s, some nice kind of like black cropped pants that I always wear. I have these um, in every single color. They're from Zara. I think they're currently sold out, but they do similar styles. So I'll be sure to leave links to these down below. Nice oversized thrifted flannel. And then I just recently got this hat from Cause. It comes in other colors and I really like the material. It reminds me of let me zoom out real quick. It reminds me of the black nylon Prada one that I have, but with even more structure. So I think if you guys are looking for a fairly affordable hat for the like summertime, I'd highly recommend this one. Like I said, there's other colors and I will leave links to these down below. Okay, you guys, Kia's putting on the bag. Well, she she was she already had it on and I told her to take it off because she was talking mad shit. But babe, tell them what you said about the bag. Tell them <laughs> what you said. said what babe. can you fit in here? Like six chicken nuggets? Sure, man's flies like every single day. Dude, I All right, what is up, you guys? Got the homie Connor here. Say what's up, bro. How's it going? So this right here is his plane. My Cessna 150. Uh, we're about to go up flying and give him a little tour yeah. of Seattle area. So to just tell them real quickly, like, what is your title? So you're an oh. actual certified pilot and instructor. Or so I'm a tell the people. Tell the people. I'm a certified flight instructor. I've uh, been flying for about six years, and I'm a multi-engine instructor. I instruct a few different levels of aircraft, but uh, for today, we're just gonna go do a discovery flight and explore Seattle. So. And then we'll um, go to dinner and stuff after and then mm -hmm. catch up and all that stuff. But I wanted Connor to specifically come on this portion of the vlog, just real quick. Tell them briefly how long it took you to where you are now. And then maybe mm. you can kind of give the boys and the girls a little bit of wisdom as to, you know, mm. being patient in regards to finally getting to where you want in your career. It's been about six years since I started flying. It sounds cliche where everyone always says, do something you love. But once I discovered aviation and knew I could do it, once you have vision, at first you don't know how to make it happen but if you get those steps ahead of you make a plan hit goals being in the process is the fun part so it's like all about the journey it really is it's an enjoyable time 100%. But, uh, so I've been doing this for six years definitely find something you love just see how you can make it happen if it's too expensive money's not a big deal in the end you gotta you know take out a loan or invest a little bit of 
time and you know well you got to spend a little money to make a lot of money exactly yeah. yeah i definitely had to go in a little bit of debt to start out but now i'm having people pay me to fly them all the time so period love that energy bro and tell them real quick what is the end goal of like all of this what oh, would be yeah. like what would be your ideal dream job after all of this yeah i i actually went this direction to hopefully one day have a better schedule a dream job after going to the airlines and flying you know commercial jets with uh, my buddies um would hopefully just be able to do something that gives back so i want to do mission work one day so that's my there you go me doing mission work one day eventually so yeah so this is my buddy connor i will be sure to leave his instagram obviously like on the screen like right here and then i'll drop it in the description box below but we're about to go into this bad boy right here go up in the air and then i'll be sure to record some clips here and there and yeah, it's ready cool. yep, let's do it. your heart is the only thing that i need yeah down, I know that you're feeling me, yeah You're feeling me, yeah, yeah, yeah Oh Open your eyes while I say this I think your love might be dangerous I might fall in, it's contagious I love your sign and body language, oh. I think I can manage what you're saying yeah, Oh, yeah. you need a Spanish and some English Oh, you give me everything I hope for I swear me and my ex is over When it's nice when like it's this nice I really like wanna this. be right this I really wanna know if you care I wanna, I wanna know, know. When it's nice like this nice I really like wanna be right there Okay guys, so we just got back from dinner. I didn't vlog like the dinner or anything because we were just like catching up and stuff. Crazy, like being up in the air and stuff. Connor let me drive, or not drive, I don't know the exact term, but he let me like, I guess for lack of a better word, drive the plane for like a good five minutes. I was feeling so proper and everything. I thought it was, <laughs> I, I thought I did pretty good. Can you tell them real quick if I did if I did well? Oh, he did great. You'll okay. see on the video. There you go. You yeah, one. I'll put it in after this. Um, but yeah, he's putting gas right now. I know it was great. It was a good time. We went to like the Space Needle and like over the stadium and stuff like that. And obviously you guys would have seen that with the clips and everything. But um, yeah, overall solid night. It was good catching up with the homie. About to put some gas into this uh, plane. Then about to head home, go to Mari and say hi to Kia, obviously. But yeah, stay tuned because we got a lot of more stuff happening in this vlog. So hopefully you guys are enjoying it so far. If you are, definitely be sure to smash that thumbs up button. Comment down below if you would do something like this. Um, and yeah, stay tuned for more. to get some home decor stuff. This is all the stuff that I got from Everlane. I have a haul either before this or after this dropping, so go ahead and wait for that video to see like all the clothes that I got from Everlane because I think there's some good like summer pieces in here that I think you guys are gonna like. But just to kind of like end this vlog right here, I wanted to show you guys all the stuff that I picked up from Crate and Barrel. It is this big bag right here. And I feel like lately, I don't know if it's because like I'm growing up or if it's just because, I don't know, my priorities are like shifting and stuff, but I feel like I'm just a little bit more excited when it comes to 
like home decor and like you know just all of that stuff so if any of you guys are like me i think you guys are gonna love these things i will be sure to leave links to these things down below as well so here's kind of an overview of the things that i picked up it's a bunch of small things but again small things that i feel like kind of make a big impact and a big difference in the apartment so the first thing that we have is this kind of stainless steel um espresso cup i don't know if you guys have seen in my other vlogs before but i just have like a clear acrylic one and there's nothing wrong with that one but i feel like this one is you know just looks a little bit more nicer a little bit more substantial and it definitely i don't know it just kind of gives me more luxe vibes so i feel like you know little touches like this throughout the apartment i feel like this sitting on my nespresso machine will be really nice i'm definitely like a big coffee guy so i think this will be a nice little touch to go hand in hand with the coffee and as you guys can see like the new cups and stuff i picked up some more coasters i'm the type of person and i'm just at that age where if you are drinking something in my apartment best believe your drink needs to be on a coaster so i saw these and they were pretty cheap too i think they were like nine dollars and then these glasses right here are so stunning in my opinion um as you guys can see it's in this really nice kind of like fluted glass material and kind of a quick funny story about these glasses right here so if you are on instagram in this day and age you would see everyone and everyone and their mother has the firm living ripple glasses and if you don't know what i'm talking about i'll be sure to throw up a photo on the screen and if you are OGs to the vlog, you would know that I used to have those glasses. I mentioned them in a couple of videos. Don't get me wrong. The firm living glasses, yes, are 100% super aesthetic. They're super nice. But if we're just being honest, it is super steep in regards to price and the quality. It's just, I don't know, it's just kind of one of those things that, yeah, it was nice. It was, it was aesthetic and it was definitely, a, I guess, beautiful piece, so to speak. But I just don't think that the quality kind of went hand in hand with the actual price of the glasses. And something that I didn't talk about because I'm not one to kind of hop on here and like, you know, shit on brands and stuff. But the firm living glasses, I don't know if it was just like my back but three out of the four of the set that i bought the three broke it was like chipping and it just was it was it was honestly it was heartbreaking because those were super expensive glasses and i love kind of again like the fluted like ribbed sort of material of the actual you know glass cup itself but the firm living glasses were like almost 80 dollars and these right here from crate and barrel i think these were like nine seven to nine dollars each and it's much heavier much just like better quality in my opinion so i think if you guys like the firm living glasses but you want something that's a little bit more affordable and something that like not everyone has i would definitely opt for this one so again i'll go ahead and leave this link to down below so that was kind of a tangent and a rant for sure but again love these glasses and then the last thing that i picked up from crate and barrel is this spoon rest right here obviously you know if you cook a lot and stuff you would know spoon rest or kind of one of those things either they're too small or this or they're just ugly so i feel like this nice um one from crate and barrel and this really nice again matte black material is not only really big but it just looks modern and nice and just aesthetic i think um this was under ten dollars as well i wanted to show you my outfit because i really liked it today um and obviously that's what you guys are here for i have a haul coming up so i'll talk more about this shirt in that said video but yeah i've been really liking this shirt I just got my new in the Bottega mini cassette bag. Just like Kia mentioned, a lot does not fit in here. So I only have like my wallet, chapstick, and extra camera batteries in here. But nonetheless, I think it kind of, you know, finishes off the outfit. At the bottom, we just have the Zara pleated pants. And then on foot, we have the Axel Arigato Marathon sneakers. And then, I don't know if I said it, but on the top, obviously Prada hat and APSE rings as per usual. This whole outfit will be linked down below with everything else I'm about to show you guys. All right, what is up you guys? Future me here, just popping in real quick to end this vlog right here. It was kind of like all over the place. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And I kind of just like filmed a little bit of everything. So again, hopefully you guys enjoyed the vlog. Hopefully you got a little something out of it. And if you made it this far to the end of the vlog, much love for watching as always. I've been really liking producing more vlog style content lately. So definitely be sure to, you know, expect more videos like this soon to come. If you enjoyed it, definitely be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more content like this and drop me some love in the comments down below. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and like i said i'll catch you guys in the next one peace